Apple recently announced a fully functioning password manager coming to iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia. The new Apple Passwords app expands on iCloud Keychain's password saving features, and it seems like they intend it to be a replacement for password manager apps like 1Password, LastPass, Bitwarden, and Keeper. But is Apple Passwords good enough to replace your password manager? And when can you start using it on your devices? Apple Passwords is a brand new app, part of the upcoming iOS 18 and iPadOS 18 releases which should be rolling out right about when this video goes out. Apple Passwords will be available on iPhone, iPad, Mac, and even Windows with the iCloud for Windows app. Now, I'm testing Apple Passwords using beta releases of iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia, so it is possible that Apple could tweak the features or interface before the public release. I was curious to know how flexible Apple Passwords is. Apple tends to make elegant software that works well inside of its own ecosystem, but the moment you try to use it in a different context, it falls short. With Apple Passwords, my first question was, can I use it to autofill passwords in Chrome, Brave, and Firefox, or can I only autofill passwords in Safari? To answer these questions, I started by setting up the app on my Mac. I wanted to import my standard demo accounts I use for testing, and my CSV export from Keeper gave an error message that my CSV did not contain name columns and to try again with another format. The error didn't specify what format the CSV should be, and Keeper didn't have any options to export it another way. I tried the same export from Bitwarden and imported it successfully, but I think Apple needs to be more clear about which format is expected so you can manually edit the CSV file if needed. Now, this is when I noticed the first quirk of Apple passwords, the lack of filters and organization tools. Since I used sign in with Apple with some accounts, all of those were indexing in my Apple passwords vault. I find this a bit annoying and would like a view where I can just look at my normal accounts, but I can't filter them out. I can't even create a folder for my passwords and choose to only look inside that folder. Adding a new password is straightforward, but there's no support for custom fields. There is a notes field you could use, but you can't quickly copy or autofill data like you could with custom fields. However, none of these limitations are surprising for a brand new password manager. A lot of these limitations could be found in other apps like NordPass and ProtonPass when they were first released. What I really wanted to know was, can you autofill passwords in Chrome, Brave, Firefox, and other browsers besides Safari? Apple has an iCloud passwords extension for Chrome, which can also be used with other Chromium browsers like Brave, Edge, and Opera. There's no official extension for Firefox, though there is one developed by a third party. I'm not sure Apple would approve of this, and I wouldn't trust it either for something as critical as password management. Since there's no official solution for Firefox, I stuck to Safari, Chrome, and Brave for my testing. But regardless of your browser choice, you can still hit that subscribe button. Subscribing and clicking the bell ensures that you never miss a new video. The Apple Passwords extension for Chrome works alright. It autofills passwords and offers to save new logins for sites not already stored in your vault. Oddly enough, it isn't able to detect password changes and offer to update existing vault items, which is a common feature found in most password managers. You also can't generate new passwords in Chrome. Instead, you're directed to generate passwords in Safari or the Apple Passwords app. The extension doesn't let you view vault items in your browser either. You're once again directed to the desktop app. Apple Passwords works best in Safari. You can generate passwords for new accounts directly in the browser, and it can also detect password changes and update the item in the vault. Apple Passwords supports generating two-factor authentication codes directly in your vault, which can be autofilled upon login. This is an impressive feature for a free password manager, as other password managers, including Bitwarden, require you to upgrade to the paid version to access this feature. Apple Passwords also supports passkeys, which work seamlessly in Safari, Chrome, and Brave. There's even a security tab that can make recommendations if any of your passwords were found in a data leak or could be easily guessed. So Apple Passwords covers the basics, but it's lacking many key features I look for in any password manager. For example, there's no item types to store identities, passport information, software licenses, or other important information. You also can't store credit card numbers, though I wouldn't be surprised if Apple adds this soon since you can already store credit card numbers in iCloud Keychain using the Safari autofill feature. As I mentioned earlier, there are are no custom fields or vault organization, which is a serious bummer. However, the sharing features of Apple Passwords surprised me. You can create groups with anyone in your contacts, and they can accept the invitation to join after you add them. You can move logins to groups, but unfortunately, a login can only be in one group. 
So let's say you have a shared group with person A and a shared group with person B. If you want to share the same password with person A and person B, you have two choices. Either create a third group containing both person A and person B, or duplicate the login and have two records to maintain as the login info changes in the future. This same sharing flaw exists in other password managers like 1Password, so it's not a poor design that's unique to Apple passwords, though I do think Apple could improve how this works. You can't share passwords as a link for non-Apple users to conveniently access as you could do in 1Password, for example. You can share a password with anyone via AirDrop, but this only works if you're in the same room as the person you're collaborating with. Not to mention, they also need an Apple device. Another missing feature is the emergency access function you'll find in many password managers. While Apple has a legacy contact feature to let a trusted individual access your Apple ID in an emergency, Apple states that a legacy contact cannot access information stored in the account holder keychain, including passwords. So to have a proper legacy plan with Apple passwords, you need to go old school and give your trusted individual your Apple ID password, including two-factor authentication if you have it enabled. Thankfully, Apple passwords gives you the freedom to move your passwords as desired, and you can export the contents of your vault to a CSV file at any time. Something that Apple gets right is security. Since there's no master password for your vault, you access your passwords by signing in with your Apple ID. However, your vault locks regularly, requiring your device password, face ID, or touch ID to unlock it. This prevents someone getting physical access to your unlocked device from viewing your passwords. But it's still ultimately tied to your Apple ID, and I'm torn over password managers like ProtonPass that use the unified account approach where one login is all you need to access all Proton services, including ProtonPass. Apple uses the same concept, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. So in the end, should you use Apple passwords? In most cases, probably not. Apple Passwords is lacking features a password manager should have, like custom fields, vault organization, and emergency access. It's also overwhelmingly clear that it works best on Apple devices, so if you've got an iPhone and a Windows computer, it won't be the best experience. But what if you're deep in the Apple ecosystem and use Apple devices exclusively? If you don't need some of the advanced features Apple Passwords is lacking, then it's a solid option. It's certainly better than no password manager at all. So if Apple Passwords piques your interest enough to try a password manager for the first time? Use it. Apple Passwords is a difficult password manager to compare because of the features it does and doesn't have. Two-factor code generation in a free password manager is unheard of, yet Apple Passwords lacks the most basic features like setting custom parameters for password generation. Only time will tell if Apple is committed to rapidly improving Apple Passwords. If this is the same Apple Passwords that will be around in five years, it's overall underwhelming. But if this is the beta version for an app that Apple intends to continue building, adding major features with each iOS update, 1Password and LastPass should be scared. I'm not sure Apple has the incentive to do this, and I don't see them launching a paid plan for Apple passwords, so maybe they're not trying to compete with other password managers. I'm not planning on switching to Apple passwords anytime soon, but I'll be following along with what Apple adds to the app. If you're searching for a password manager, I've got a full comparison video on the top password managers that you can check out here.